What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Los Angeles Angels versus Philadelphia Phillies Major League Baseball matchup going down Monday, April 29th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays that I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. Right now, $1,000 unit betters are up over 37 units in the last two weeks. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with. Text 775 636 Seven six seven four. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Los Angeles Angels and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Los Angeles Angels sending out Griffin Canning to the mound in this one, while the Philadelphia Phillies will counter with Christopher Sanchez. And for Sanchez, it's been a little bit of an issue this season. I mean, you know, a one and four team record in his starts. You know, the problem for for Sanchez has been that you know he just doesn't get a ton of support in his in his starts. I mean, he's been given an average of three runs of support per game in his starts. Uh, he's gotten three runs of support or less in four of his five outings. So obviously, you know, that's going to be problematic no matter how often and, and how well you pitch. But the uh, thing is, is that he hasn't pitched terribly. It's like I said, it's just been the offense that's let him down. He's given up one earned run in each of his last three starts. Granted, last time out in Cincinnati, he gave up five runs, but only the one was earned. Uh, but before that, over the previous two starts against Colorado and Pittsburgh at home, he had given up two runs combined, sorry, two earned runs combined, 16 strikeouts to four walks. The problem for Sanchez this season, though, has been that he's had issues on the road. Um, you know, it's where his two worst starts have come. Last time out against Cincinnati, taking the loss, and the previous road start against the Washington Nationals, giving up three runs on six hits, over four and a third innings of work. Uh, it's just it, it's been it's been a struggle for him. But he gets a matchup here against uh, you know an Angels team that has really had some issues here. You know against, uh, really against everybody sort of just drumming up offense. Now, in the last 10 days against left-handed pitching, the Angels are above league average hitting 259 against lefties, but it's got to be taken sort of with a grain of salt as it's the seventh smallest sample size against left-handed pitching um, in baseball over that 10-day time frame. So not a ton of plate appearances against lefties, but they have been making some solid contact over those appearances. But Again, just, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm really rushing to back him here, especially when you consider the fact that, you know, the isolated power numbers for the Angels in that in those games, uh, second worst in baseball, the um, the team OPS numbers aren't very good either. So it's just, it's it's not a good look for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Angels against lefties. The Phillies against righties, on the other hand, this is where Griffin Canning comes into play. You know, it's been uh, it's it's been a lot of hard contact for the other uh, Phillies, hitting 290 against right-handed pitching in the last 10 days. The isolated power numbers are great for the Phillies' top five. The team OPS numbers are solid as well. They're third in baseball. They're doing a lot of damage against right-handed pitching. And Griffin Canning, you know, he managed to get the win in his last start against the Baltimore Orioles. Gave up three runs on five hits with four strikeouts. But before that, even in the start where he gave up just two runs on four hits against the Tampa Bay Rays, still the offense was inconsistent enough that it you know it uh, couldn't lift him up and and get him the win. As uh, you know, Canning you know took the loss there. Prior to that, against the Red Sox, he gave up eleven innings of eight and two thirds of work. You know, he gave up five runs in five innings against the Orioles in his first start against him. So he struggles against good lineups and with the inconsistency of the Angels' uh, offense behind him. I think I got to roll with the uh, with the Phillies here, laying the decent price on the road. The Angels have lost four straight and nine of ten. Gave up a combined thirty two runs in that three game series against the Minnesota Twins over the weekend. Yeah, I got to go with the Phillies here to keep their uh, their offense rolling here. So give me the Phillies, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.